Okay. And so we are starting with the hands on work in the financial accounting uh, application in SAP S4 HANA using SAP Fury. Uh, as we have discussed in the last video that Fury is a new interface uh, through which we can connect with SAP system through the browser. So the first thing we are to do here in the financial accounting part is to display an accounting document which uh, can be done in the SAP G standard SAP GUI screen uh, GUI interface through FB03, the code FB03. And over here, this is done through manage journal entries. So manage journal entries is rather a uh, rather a uh, wider T code or uh, rather a wider application in which not only that we can do FP03, which is the display accounting document, but we can also do some other tasks, for example, FP02, which is the change of accounting document. We shall see what does it mean and how can we can do it over here. Uh, FP08, which is the reversing of accounting document and even FP04, which is the display of changes in accounting document. So in the new system, SAP has actually reconfigured the applications to uh, combine some of them and to split some other ones. So let's go there, manage journal entries. Uh, if we uh, we can see uh, potentially uh, on your screen, you might see some more filters or some more fields over here, or you might see some less filters or some lesser fields over here. But we don't need to confuse because we this is something which which is in our control and we shall see how we can actually customize this interface. So the important thing to display is that on this screen, we can actually display an accounting document. So if we have a document number of an accounting document, we can just type the document number over here, the general entry. As soon as I get my pointer here, uh, it says that accounting document number. So I had an accounting document number. I remember it is 1000001153. And this accounting document was belonging to company code. So uh, there is the company code US00 already selected. I remove it and I want to type company code, which is US00. So I started typing US and you see the system auto is automatically showing me all the company codes, which are starting with US or where the word US is somehow appearing in the company code, uh, even from the currency per perspective. So I want this one. Uh, so here I selected and as soon as I selected, it is visible here. I again remove it just for the sake of uh, understanding in practice. And I now start typing company code with the company code name. So I remember the company code name is global bike. So I start typing global and as you see, as soon as I start typing, all the company code names which are starting with the term global are now visible and even some of them are with the euro currency because these are the three fields which the system is uh, these are the four fields which the system is actually looking for when we start typing here so we can type with the company code uh, name or the company code itself or the city or even the currency so this is a new feature a so relatively a sophisticated feature which was not there in the earlier version of sap gui although it was there in the later versions so this is the company code I'm looking for. Then ledger group, I am not interested in journal entry type. Uh, I'm not interested in full timing journal entry. So this is the document number I'm looking for. And I also need to mention the fiscal year because we, we did discuss and we discuss it again that a document number is always specific to a fiscal year and a company code. So whenever we are going to display a document, we first or a journal entry, we must uh, mention the company code and the fiscal year because one document number can repeat in another fiscal year in the same company code or can repeat in the same fiscal year in another company code. So a document number is always specific to a company code and a fiscal year. So then we press go and the system thinks for a time being and the system shows us a document number with uh, this is the general entry number. This is the header of the document. This is the company code to which belongs. This is the channel entry type. This was the user who created this channel entry. And this is the posting date when this was posted. And this is the total amount uh, for which the channel entries were posted. The total amount, all the total of all the debits or total of all the credits, whatever we say. If I want to display, a, a, for example, uh, the details of this document, I will click this document number, right? So as soon as I click it, this the system shows me three options. 
do I want to just display the document? I will click this option. If I want to do something with this general entry, I will click this option. And if I want to analyze uh, this general entry, uh, these two are a little bit sophisticated options. So we start with looking, actually observing or uh, actually viewing this, uh, watching this uh, document, viewing this document, displaying this document. So I click it and the system now takes me to the document uh, overview and you can see that uh, this is a general entry number this and this is the entry view and this can be changed to either the entry view or the ledger view and of, uh, although that this particular entry will be same either we uh, display in the entry view or ledger view but uh, uh, actually in, in the later part we shall see that some customer documents and vendor documents where subsidiary ledgers are involved the entry view and the ledger view will differ. So we are actually uh, displaying this document's header for the timing. So this is selected and over here we have general entry date, which is equivalent to the document date, the source document date, the posting date, uh, the accounting point of view, this date is important that in which month's income statement or balance sheet this is going to appear. Posting period, this is something this which the system is retrieving from the posting date. So since posting date is the third, month so the posting period is third and as we have already discussed earlier that uh, posting period doesn't mean uh, a three doesn't mean march necessarily if uh, the financial year is july to june then posting period three will correspond to september so this is the sequence of these uh, number of the sequential month in the financial year in this particular system on which we are working calendar year and financial year are same therefore march corresponds to three this is a general entry type, document type. So earlier it was in the GUS, uh, earlier version of SAP, it was actually referred as document type. So if you are using SAP GUI, you will see it as a document type. And this is the user who has created this document. So this very important information is available here. This is the company code and this is the currency in which this document was originally entered. And this is the reference number. So this is a sort of short narration of the document. This is a reference document number. So again, this is something very technical. I used to label such things as Janu German. So let me label it as Janu German. And this is the header text. Again, a sort of the header level narration, uh, a short narration which is applicable to uh, applicable to the entire document rather than to uh, one line item. And then we move down to the document. So after the header part, we see the line item. So this document has two line items: line item number one and line item number two. And the GL account number 700000 has been debited. The account title was labor expense and the amount was 2084. This debit, the account credit it was bank, this is the account number. And we see that uh, over here, if I want, I am interested in, in uh, looking for some other details of this line item number one. For example, uh, we already know, uh, we did discuss that whenever an expense account is used in a journal entry, uh, if controlling module is live, we also need to enter some cost object or cost center. So which cost center has been debited with labor? We don't know because uh, this labor uh, uh, cost center, uh, corresponding cost center is not visible over here. So I can just click this uh, transaction uh, posting uh, view item number. So as soon as I click item number one, I should be taken to the detail screen of this item. And we need to be a little bit patient uh, and because the internet speed is slow. So here are the details of this item. So this is the, you can see that the, the this is the uh, item number one of this document, right? And from this arrow, we can move on to the next line item or we can move on to the previous line item. And this is the account uh, num name. This is total amount. This is assignment number. Assignment number is something which is open to be entered. So by default, it is configured as date, but this doesn't necessarily need to be. This is a value date. We have not discussed value date, so we skip the discussion. These are some header level inf uh, other information, for example, uh, the relevant business area was bike. The company code is global bike. The cost center, which we were actually talking about, is NAAD uh, 1000, and the controlling area is N00. And you see that uh, uh, all the necessary details of the line item are available, are available. If I want to see the details of another line item, I shall go here, here and there are the details of other line item. And uh, now, if I want to return back to my main entry, I will go to back to journal entry. So I am back to main entry. And there are some other features as well. For example, we can attach with this document. This document can have some sort of attachment. For example, scanned copies of invoices or scanned copies of receipts can be attached with the document. So this is a very important feature. 
we can have notes associated with the document. So if we want to have some memorandum notes uh, for the document, uh, so we can mention it over here. We can link this document with some other document. For example, labor expense, electricity expense might be linked with the electricity bill payment. Labor expense might be linked with some direct labor uh, controlling costing document. So we can link different documents over here. We again go back to the header. So when we go to the header, we can also see line items below the header. So here are the line items which we see again. And there are some other options which around I am not discussing in this video to keep this video uh, short. And in the next video, we shall see some other document, some other options within this particular uh, display mode. And we shall also see how to look for a document when the document number is uh, not found. Thank you.